My name is Lisa and I am not a statistic. Being in foster care for me was kind of like every other day. It was a guess on what it was going to be like. It was hard because you didn't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, there was so much uncertainty. My life was never stable, like from, from birth. My mom left when I was a year and then I'm bouncing from to my grandparents' house and now into foster care. It taught me independence. It taught me that the only person I can rely on is me. I was suicidal through high school. I didn't really think about my future. Of course, never, never intend, never had any plans or anything. It wasn't until like sophomore year. Um, I was self-harming and my foster parents had found out. My social worker went ahead and she just put me in a mental hospital. Um, and it was supposedly just for two weeks and it ended up being eight months. Eight months of not having a place, not having a home. Being in mental hospitals, I thought they were always just suicidal, cutting, things like that. And it, it wasn't. It was other troubled kids in different ways that just needed help. And it taught me a lot of things. And I had a really good therapist there who helped me, you know, grow as a person and not be this monster of a teenager. I went into a group home, finished out my high school in Greensboro, and the Spanish teacher I had, she was the actually the one that was like, well, you should go to college, you know, you should do something, you know, you're great, you're smart, you could do this. I never could see five years down the line, 10 years down the line, I couldn't see that far. So I was blowing it off. My older brother, because he was a student here, he was in the automotive field, so he was like, oh, you should definitely go. If I can go, I can afford it. This, that, and the other, you should be able to. My sociology teacher actually, do you know about the Fostering Bright Futures program here on campus? And I was like, no, what is that? And um, she was like, speak to me after class. And I went up to her and she was like, go speak to Miss Michelle Blackman. And I did. Fostering Bright Future sits there and they're like, well, you know, you might not have direction, but here's a direction. This is something you want to do. Well, here's a route for you. They don't, they don't make you feel worthless. They make you feel like you can be worth something and they help you motivate yourself to do it. Not having that kind of love and support throughout my entire life, you're searching for it. You're looking for somebody to give you that need and Miss Michelle fed that need. She fed it very well. So that is what kind of got me excited about it was like this is the support that I'm gonna get. If you are a foster kid to definitely reach out because they are a support system. They will help you in any and every way that you need. I was skeptical when I first entered but the more I opened up the more that I saw the the more the more, I, the more love I saw, I feel the support. And I would not have made it if it wasn't for fostering bright futures. My name is Lisa and the future is bright for me.